Imagine the intense weight of 35,000 Empire State Buildings. That's how much plastic is slated to be in our landfills by 2050. By that same year, there will be more plastics in our oceans than fish. It's not just bad for the environment, it's expensive. The fallout from plastic pollution adds up to 13 billion a year. But humans rely on plastics to a staggering degree. After all, they've changed our lives. Plastic medical devices, airbags, bike helmets, and airplane parts save lives every day. Plastic bottles deliver clean drinking water across the globe. So where did it all go wrong? Three words, single-use plastics. Lots and lots of them. We now buy a million plastic bottles every minute worldwide, only to throw them out moments later. Waste management systems simply can't keep up. 91% of plastic doesn't even get recycled. Instead, plastics are overflowing rivers and coastlines and ending up in our oceans. Mass plastic production exploded in the 1950s thanks to scientific innovations in the wake of World War II. Durable, long-lasting, and inexpensive, single-use plastic soon replaced kitchen plates, cutlery, packaging, you name it. That durability is also a huge problem. Our throwaway items take hundreds of years to biodegrade. So where does it all go? Into giant garbage patches in the ocean, known as the Five Gyres. These ocean currents churn plastic waste into massive whirlpools. One is as big as Texas and contains 1.8 trillion pieces of plastic. Inside them, seabirds and marine life mistake larger plastic items with food or prey. Slowly, they break down into nearly invisible particles that permeate our waters. More and more people are waking up to the massive plastic problem and seeking solutions. One group in the Netherlands is designing a giant filter that captures debris from gyres and ultimately recycles it. Scientists are deploying wax worms to eat plastic bags. And the trash presso machine transforms plastic into building tiles. Over 60 countries have passed laws to scale back single-use plastics. Yet despite all this progress and innovation, we're still making and using more plastic than ever.